Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we are going to take a look at yet another important interview question which was given to me by Yash, one of my LinkedIn connections and this was asked in Cape Gemini. So let us discuss the scenario a bit, right? So over here we are having just the country column and the sales column. Now some of the sales are in negative numbers, right? So these uh, sales for Europe, Japan and one of the US sales is in negative. So uh, this is a very real life scenario where in some of the projects it is said that okay show me the negative values within bracket right. So this was the exact question the, and there were two parts of the question. First is showing the negative values inside a bracket which is like this and second is color coding the same in red right. So the color coding part hopefully is very simple you guys already know this using conditional formatting but how you will actually so that was the second step how you will actually convert the negative values or the negative numbers uh, as this particular bracket right. So that is the tricky part so let us go ahead and see how you can achieve this. So for this we will go to the data tab we will select the okay so let us go ahead and create a new column name this as output. So we'll use the format DAX. We'll pass the first value of the format. Uh, the first argument of the format is value. So we are going to pass the format, uh, the value of the sales column over here. Okay, now we need to specify the format, right? Over here, there is a very interesting article I would like to show you. All you have to go is go to DAX.guide and how you are going to give the format inside the format dax statement is very important there are so there are three sections one section two section and three sections right so for the first section if you see this is called as the first section applied to all the values the second section where it is broken up into two parts you see there is one part before the semicolon right this one and the other part is after the semicolon which is this one so it is called the two sections part the first section is for positive and zero values and for the second uh, section it is only for the negative value. So we will be using this particular trick for to solve this problem asked by the interviewer. So we will go ahead and copy this particular format from here right right and we will go to format and we will paste this. Let me go ahead and zoom this. So as you can see all the negative values are now converted inside a bracket. Why? Because this is what I am telling after the semicolon I am specifying. So th as I told you that before the semicolon part it is for the positive and zero and after the semicolon part it is only for the negative numbers. So negative numbers for example this 76,898 is converted is written inside the bracket same with these two values as well. So I hope you are clear with the first part of the question. Okay, now to solve the second part of the question, uh, you have to come to the report view and in the report view, I have dragged and dropped these three, uh, you know, columns that we have. Now, all we have to do is color code the ones that are in bracket, that is the output column in red, right? So, let's go ahead and uh, just see how to do this. It's very easy using conditional formatting. So, all you have to do is click on this particular arrow in output and go to conditional formatting font color okay now okay uh, choose the format style as rules okay and from the field value on which field what field should we base this on so we have to go to our table which is with negative values and we will choose sales right because the sales are the one that's in negative i cannot use the output column directly i have to use sales which has negative values and sum of sales to be more specific right now i will say that if the value is greater than or equal to zero right and if the value is less than i'll give a very high number okay so very high number i'll give i'll uh, add another rule and I, I will say that if the number is between zero and this high number then let it remain as the default which is black right and if it is greater than equal to now this is the catch because you cannot have only greater than equal to or only less than equal to in this particular rules tab right so always there is this interval where the value has to lie now you have to give a negative value minus one and you have to give a very high negative value 
right? So once that high value is given greater than or equal to minus of that value and less than zero, then I need my number to be, let's say, red, right? The font. Okay, one important thing to note over here is you're seeing this I, it is, please check the logic of this rule. So it's asking me to check the logic. That's because over here I have written percentage, right? So I need to convert this to number, this also to number, and then that I goes away. Remember while you are doing this and now just click on OK. And that's it. So I hope you are able to see this. Uh, all the negative values are now represented as red in the red, red font and inside bracket. So uh, as the final thing, you can just go ahead and remove this sales, right? So this is going to be your country. This is going to be your output. So guys, uh, if you're liking my videos, do not forget to motivate me using your subscriptions and your comments. And if you have any comments related to this particular video, I'll be happy to answer them. So till the next time we meet, have a great day. Bye-bye.